know what I'm talking about. I grew up in them rural rounds. Count down them days till I got brave enough to bust out city lights. You know, that is Drive It Around song from country artist Colt Ford, who's joining us live in the studio. Look at the video. There's Colt. And who's getting driven around by Danica Patrick? That's Colt. Oh, oh, and her boyfriend. He was in there. <laughs> we only let him in there for a minute. <laughs> How did you get the two of them to, to come along? It was just cool. We, we reached out to them, and I'm, I'm a fan of both of them, and, yeah. uh, and they were both willing to do it. And, you know, it was something different for them because we didn't really tie in. It, wasn't, it didn't have anything to do with NASCAR. It just, just yeah. had to do with the theme of the video. So. so what was the theme of the video? I mean, it was driving, but, I mean, was it supposed to be the love, well, yeah, love well, interest going I, on? I don't know. That would be pretty cool. I don't know. Was Ricky jealous that, of you? Uh, Ricky's very jealous of me. I mean, but, I mean I'm extremely good looking, so it's hard for him not to be. <laughs> If you have never um, gone to one of Colt's shows, or if you're like, I, I don't know if I'm familiar with his work, I bet you are because I think people still um, who might just a little dabble a little bit in country yeah. might recognize you for what you've done for other artists. Yeah, well, I've had a couple of big songs as a songwriter. I mean, the song that I put out in 2008 called uh, Dirt Road Anthem. Uh, has become Jason Aldean's biggest song. A little career. artist named Jason yeah, yeah. Aldean. <laughs> um, so you wrote this part of that song. Listen, right? Yeah, I wrote this. Brantley Gilbert and I wrote this whole song. Okay, the yeah, whole yeah. thing. Yeah. But um, he does a little bit of what I call the spoken word. Some people will say country rap. Um, spoken word, do you prefer it called spoken word or you prefer it called country rap? No, I, I, I prefer, I mean, I just consider myself a country artist. Recitation, yeah. spoken word have been around in country music from the beginning. Yeah. So I don't feel like I created anything new at, at all. I mean, that's been around for a long time. If you look at the history of country music, yeah. that's always been around. Devil went so, down to Georgia. Uh, listen, you know? Yeah, listen to Charlie. I mean, it goes way back further than that. So songs like Smoke, Smoke, That Cigarette by Tex Williams and listen to Johnny Cash and C.W. McCall, yeah. listen to, you know, Atlanta's own Jerry Reed. Well, um, now that you point that out, are people a little bit more accepting, you think, of the spoken word slash country rap, whatever they want to call it now? Because it did happen before there was rap. Yeah, I, yeah. You know, before that term was even invented, it was there. So, I don't know. I mean, it, for for certain artists, they are. <laughs> Sometimes for me, they're not. I don't know. Maybe they're scared of my good looks. I don't know. <laughs> You're so funny. Or discriminating against a fat guy, I'm not sure. Well, I hope that's not the case, and I, I don't see either. what you're talking about. Now, listen, I know that you wanted to come on and talk about what you're doing for the St. Ch uh, Children's Research Hospital, because people may not know that you used to be a professional golf player? That is true. Yeah, about wow. 100 pounds ago. I was actually texting back and forth with my buddy Phil Mickelson this morning. Oh, yeah? But yeah, because he's... I've known him since we, we played golf since we were kids. Is so. that why you wear those boots? Because you're dropping names? No, yeah. So I can, <laughs> well, that's true. I, let me pick that up. Real I'm quick. joking. But it's a guy I grew up playing with since we were since we were little kids, and uh, he was inviting my dad over to come watch him this week. So that was pretty cool. That is cool. Yeah. So um, tell me about why you decided that you were going to help St. Jude's with uh, a celebrity golf tournament. I think we have video. When we say celebrities. We mean people like who? Oh, well, there's a lot. I mean, like uh, like Jason Aldean, like uh, Darius Rucker, Jake Owen. I mean, there's a bunch of guys that were part of it last year, and there's a bunch more that are going to be a part of it this year. My uh, good friend Charles Kelly from Lady Annabellum and his brother Josh Kelly. Now, Jake uh, um, played that in college, so I know he's a good golfer. Yeah, Jake tried to walk on it at, at Florida State University. He, he's injured right now with his finger. You know, he had, a, he had that accident and cut off the tip of his oh, finger. Oh, gosh. So, uh... Well, I think I know St. Jude must really appreciate what you're doing. You have a new album that comes out October 1st. Oddly enough, that single, the video, is not on that. Right. So everyone will have to check out what is on that. And um, and do you freestyle? Uh, no, nah, because I mean, I'm a country artist. I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a rap artist. Yeah. <laughs> so do, can you do a little ditty then? I told you ahead of time. Uh, For I, our I, viewers I, who are up early in the morning. I, I mean, I... This new record that's coming out is called. It's basically not a new record though. It's it's really Revisited. an old. Yeah, I mean it, that was a record that came out in 2008. So it is a bunch of the old songs kind of redone because it was the fifth year anniversary of it, and I redid it with some legends like Ronnie Dunn and John Anderson cool. and uh, you know the, Joe Diffie and Charlie Daniels is on there. Winona's on there, so it's really cool. Judge. They'll have to go get that record if they want to hear me. Okay, got you. There you go. Now, that is marketing. If you don't have to work even harder, but they just kind of put some new repackaging on it. Well, it was cool. We, we, we redid all the songs, though. I mean, yeah. they, I mean we, we recorded them and, and brought in those it. artists, and, and to work with all those legendary country artists was really cool. Well, it is nice to have you up early, and I appreciate you being here. I appreciate it. And I'll follow you on Twitter, and we follow each other. We'll catch so. up with each other on Twitter. Okay. I'm used to being up early. I got kids, so I don't know all about that. All right. Hey, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. So I once again, it. the new album, um, is it 
Country Road Revisited? No, it's Ride it's Through the Country, through the country visited. visited. Revisited, yeah. There we go. Comes out in October, so just a few weeks here. Yeah, not long. You can also link up to his charity, coldfordgolf.com on our website, which our website is hlntv.com slash Robin. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Robin. Thank you.